And here we go. After the years of performing, I developed my routine and I can put the full face on, hair and everything in under 20 minutes. So let's get started. First I start with the primer. Ah! Ah! I will never get used to something being sprayed on my face. Ah! <laughs> oh! This is the least glamorous showgirl makeup tutorial. Okay, now I am going to apply foundation. Normally I used the sponge mainly because I have a whole bunch of them which I bought a long time ago before I really started thinking about the environment unfortunately but today I'm going to just use my fingers. This is a very intimate ritual for a showgirl putting the makeup on before the show. There's some magic in it. Getting ready emotionally and spiritually for the show. And as you can hear, I have music playing on the background and this is the music I will be dancing to. I always, always do that when I'm getting ready for the show. Even if this is the act that I've done hundreds of times before on stage, I still listen to my music every single time I put my makeup on. Again, just to get in the mood because every song and every act has its own attitude and its own character sometimes. What I normally do next is eyeshadows. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with putting the white base. Here it is, I think it's a baked eyeshadow. I apply some, like I said, at the base of the eyelids on top and also kind of as a contour in the bottom. Ow! <laughs> Cut myself in the eye. Here we go. So there is not much to see right now, but this is something for me to build on. Also, I think I'm going to put some red lipstick right now, so it's more fun to look at this picture of me. I like this song. Can't wait to dance to it. All the songs we hear playing are by the band I'm working with, Svetlana and the Delancey Five. They're based in New York City. They have a weekly show at the back room on every Monday, where I used to perform a lot. It was one of my top three favorite events to perform at. Absolutely adored it. Alright, so this is just the first base layer, just for fun. I will finish my lips later. Oh, look, I have food between my teeth. Mmm, tasty. Okay, what's next? A shadows baby. I'm using this. This is my absolutely favorite, BH Cosmetics. And it has this color palette, which I find incredibly amazing. And they are named by the name of the planets, which is so cute. My absolutely favorite is Juniper, which is like pale red slash salmon color. I absolutely adore it. I use it all the time. Can I use different brush for each color almost? Just because I'm weird. You don't have to do that. Now I'm gonna take a brown and do the edge of my eye and also the contour on top. Basically I just do whatever I want. It's super fun. It's like your face is your canvas. Because this is a stage makeup, you can't really go wrong. The bolder the better. I like to blend the colors in a little bit. And I have a special brush here to remove the extra makeup and glitter from my face. There will be a lot of glitter later. No glitter, no burlesque. Now I'm going to do the eyeliner, again the bigger the better. If you can see here I accidentally did two lines instead of one so I decided to go with the double one and pretend like I meant it that way. So I did the same thing here, as good as I could, I'm not gonna care much because I will put the eyelashes on top of it and again Nobody's gonna see that except for you who is watching this video, but I don't think you care either. Also what I always do, always do when I go on stage, I draw a beauty mark here and here. And if you can see, my skin developed kind of a blemish at that spot. And I think that's due to the years of putting eyeliner here, which is probably not good for my skin. But it made makeup application easier. <laughs> Again, it's a little too big, but I don't care because I will be far away, so the bigger the better. At this point, I like to put the contour to my cheekbones. I don't see blush in my thing, so I'm just gonna use the eyeshadows. I think I would like something more, so i actually gonna use the lipstick. I'm just gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like this, and then rub it in. I 
think it's fine. The whole thing is gonna look completely crazy until I put the eyelashes on and add glitter, so be patient. I also think I'm gonna add some powder. Alright, now the eyebrows. Probably the most important part of this. My eyebrow pencil is a little tired. I'm going to sharpen my pencil. I've been using this brand for a thousand years, even before, way before I started burlesque. This is Lancome, actually. Le Crayon Call. I'll try to link everything I'm using down below. Okay, I'm gonna do the eyebrows. I like full dark eyebrows. Skills right there. I also like to put the black crayon here on my inner lid, which is probably freaky to look at. Ah! Oh! Ticklish. But I like how it looks. One more thing actually that I like to do. I like to put little dots on the eyeliner right here in the middle below my eye. Like this. You won't be able to see them once I put the eyelashes on, but I just wanted to show off. Let me put my eyelashes first. I'll show you how to do that. There's a lot of controversy about applying false eyelashes. First of all, yes, I reuse my eyelashes. Oh my god, of course. If I bought a pair of eyelashes for every show I did, oh my god, this whole bathroom would be full of false eyelashes then. I'm reusing mine basically until I lose them for a long time. It's probably not sanitary, but at least it's not as bad for the environment. Here's the secret how you do it. Take your eyelash glue and apply it on the eyelash. Do not apply it on your eyes. Here we go. So apply it in a strip like this and set it down. Take the other one and do the same. Sometimes if I put too much in the first one, I just like to rub them against each other instead of applying twice. That works very well. I might need to do that now. That's what happened. Here we go. That's easy. Perfect. Eyelash glue is essential for a showgirl. One time at the festival, I accidentally squeezed the bottle with the eyelash glue and I was already wearing a costume and I kind of somehow squeezed it, like holding it around my belly button. <laughs> and it squeezed itself right here of my costume and it looked like um, a happy ending happened to me. I will maybe link the photo here for a second because YouTube not ready, but it was super fun and funny. It was not staged at all. It happened in a very funny way. All right, so what do you do next is very important. So now your job is to make your eyelid tacky and to make your eyelash tacky because right now it's not tacky. Right now it's like wet. It still stays on your finger and it shouldn't eventually. So what you do is just take your eyelash as you would apply it and just tap it to your eyelid and set it aside again. Here's. It's very important to open your mouth as well, otherwise it's not gonna work. See, I tapped around like five, six times. I set it down and I do the same with the other one. Open your mouth, here we go. And you can see that I have glue on top of my eyelids now. This secret that I'm telling you was shared with me and all my fellow students at... <laughs> Excuse me, I caught that sneeze. This was shared by Mistress Jo, Jo Weldon, Jo Books Weldon at the New York School of Burlesque that I graduated from. The only education I ever actually used. My eyelashes has been set down for another minute or two after I tap them to my eyelids. So now, you see, I touch them now, nothing on my finger. So now they're ready to go. And you literally just put them on your eye and they will stay there. Open your mouth. See what I mean? At this point, normally I like to put my hair on. I took off my sweater, so there are less crazy colors. I like to check that my wig doesn't fall off, but I do all kinds of things with my head. I have seen wigs fall off on stage. You can get out of that if you're really good, but you don't wanna. You don't wanna risk that. When the wig is new or has not been used much, it has a very fake look to it. It has like perfectly curled, strings of hair, but it's an easy fix, you just need to brush it. I recommend having a separate brush for the wig. This one I only use for the wigs and I use a different one for my hair. Here you can see the difference between the brushed side and not brushed, right? This one looks a little more natural. The best thing when you choose the wig is for it to be bouncy, especially if you go for a retro look. I'm gonna brush the rest of it.
right, now whatever you did not do perfectly, cover it up with glitter. My costume today, I think it's gonna be black and gold, I haven't decided yet. But I think that's what I'm gonna wear, my flapper costume. And so I'm gonna apply gold glitter on my eyelids. So now you can see why I was saying do not worry too much about your actual makeup because you're just gonna put glitter all over it and nobody will see anything but glitter. Because I'm doing a flapper look, I'm going to apply dark lipstick. I'm just gonna apply it on top of this one. Again, I'm gonna cover it up with glitter. I think this is gonna change everything to the better. See how it's different? I think I'm gonna apply a darker contour as well. Alright, now my favorite part, the part that dazzles everyone, lip glitter. I like to use this lip gloss first. It acts kind of like a, almost like the glue. Flappers actually did have very thin lips. I'm not going for that look. All right, and now whatever is not great, we're gonna fix it with more glitter. This is something that every audience gets fascinated with. I always get asked, almost at every show, I get asked, how did I get my lips to look like this? You will see, not the way they look now, but the final look. People get very surprised that it's just cosmetic glitter. <sighs> terrible for the environment. I know you can also use edible glitter, the one that is used for cooking, and I think that's a fabulous idea and is much better and also safer for you. I have two shades of red cosmetic glitter. One is just straight up red and one is more like wine color. I think I'm gonna use more of this wine color because my lips are kind of purple. At the end I'll probably mix them up. So I just applied on top. This is it, I'm pretty much done and I'm going to put my earrings on. I think I will stick with black and gold costumes, so I have the earrings to match it. These were made by Calamity Chan, a very famous burlesque performer in New York City, my stripper mama, who kind of discovered me and kicked off the career I've had, just by starting booking me in many shows and uh, I kind of propelled very quickly to becoming a very busy performer. I hope you like my look. I should do that thing now.